What's up YouTube? I'm back with another vlog this week. Usually this week would be filled with a car review or feature, but I've been really busy because I'm in college and I have classes and I work. So there's that. Car features will be back next week and we'll resume there every other week's schedule after that. Anyway, I don't really even have a topic for the vlog today. So I'm just gonna ramble a few minutes and cut it off and go eat some pizza and study for a test. How's that sound? Hey, you can you can stop watching now, I imagine. But anyway, I'll talk about a few things I think are stupid that people are doing to cars now. And by people, I mean manufacturers, because I'd rather talk bad about a corporation than individuals, because they're not going to come at you online. Individuals will comment angry things in the comments section on YouTube, especially. Anyway, why are there splitters on trucks now? I mean, I guess they've been heading that direction anyway, but like, two-wheel drive, that's fine, whatever, but you get these four-wheel drive trucks, and you lift them, and they put like a three-inch wide splitter on the bottom of them. It's, I assume it's for fuel efficiency, but come on, it ruins the look, and it ruins the off-road capability, and on-road capability for that matter. And also, everything is so angry now. All oh, the cars are so aggressive. I, why? Just, just make a car that looks normal. Like the new Camry. It's so angry. The front end is like sharp. It'll cut you if you walk by it. That's, that's a stupid analogy. Wow, that's really dumb. But, I mean, it's really angular. You just don't get it. Like, why can't they just be peaceful cars? That not all cars have to stand out. Not all cars are going to stand out, even if you make them aggressive, because everything is aggressive now. Why? What's the point? I don't get it. Anyway, uh, moving on to another thing I've had floating around in my head is automotive social media. Does anyone out there use it? I use forums and stuff occasionally, but I prefer to just use Facebook groups or Facebook pages or YouTube videos. I understand the point of having automotive-focused social media, but it just seems like an extra thing to deal with for the consumers. Will I get one eventually? Yeah, maybe, once I start having a car I actually do things to. But right now it just seems like it would just be another time suck. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. I've been hearing about this driveline thing on several different podcasts I listen to, and while that sounds interesting, the premise is basically filming your drive on roads as you go along and uploading it. That's neat and all, but typically you're going to be going faster on a road than you should be if it's worth posting, and well, that's... That's a whole other mess. I haven't used the app. Maybe it's great. I don't really plan to use the app because, well, I don't know. Maybe I will use it. Probably not. Um, I'll go ahead and be spoiler, since you've watched this long. Next week, you can expect a review. Well, review in my sense of a review is in I talk about and show a car. You can expect a review of a Toyota Soarer right-hand drive import from Japan. It is kind of like an SC300, a Lexus SC300. You'll see. Um, have that, have one more car filmed, and I'm running out of things to upload, so if you're around Tuscaloosa and you're watching this, send me a message on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or comment on YouTube if you want to be on the show because there needs to be a show or video or really anything because I don't really enjoy making these vlogs because I have to think in one coherent thought for too long. <sighs> what a mess. Anyway, thanks for wasting a couple minutes of your time. Uh, next week will be a better video, I promise. Uh, Subscribe to me if you like the other stuff on my channel. Don't judge me based on this video. Uh, let's see what else. Follow, like my page on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. 
Aspire and Car Guy, both of those places, same name. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you again.